Hey guys, so today we are going to do a brief walkthrough of my favorite, which is Portal X's cross chain swapping. Now you head over and just connect your wallet. The list of options are here. Today we're just going to click on MetaMask. Now, what Portal X is, is an aggregating routing protocol. So what that means is Portal X actually finds users the cheapest, most cost-effective way to bridge. Now this service simplifies bridging for end users. So instead of going to multiple different interfaces to be able to get to your desired location, Portal X facilitates everything in this one location. So here you choose your source network and your source token, or in other words, the uh, blockchain that you are looking to bridge out of and the token that you are looking to leave. So let's just say for this instance, Polygon, and we want to move out of the native coin Matic. Um, and then down below is where we are choosing our target chain and our target token. So for this example, we will just choose Ethereum and maybe we will choose USDC. You can see along the side here that um, the shields, now this is not financial advice, but they do throw up a warning should there potentially be a token with some concern. So again, we will just click on USDC and say we are looking to move out of 500 Matic. Portal X may take a brief moment just to aggregate you the routes. It is generally rather fast, but again, as it is an aggregator aggregating multiple bridges and DEXs, it can take just one moment. So here you can see that in this trade, it is believing it can get you 547 USDC and the route that it's going to take you across. Now the route that's always propagated will always be the cheapest route. But when you hop down here, you can opt to choose other options that come up. Now, this is just for an end user because potentially after doing some research, they are not very familiar or comfortable with the option that is put up in front of them. So they can come down and choose a different viable option. Okay, now here we have a feature of choosing a receiver end address. This just means if you don't want your tokens to be dropped off to the wallet that you are connected to. You can predetermine the address that you want the tokens to be sent. Now, always make sure that you paste the address correctly because there is no undo button and we cannot help you if you paste the address incorrectly. So always triple check guys, should you choose to use this feature. Now down below here, you can click on transaction details which just gives you a little bit more of an overview of what this transaction will be entailing and the price impact on your trade that you will be having. Now, as a default, Portal X will always choose the minimum slippage. Now, the reason being is because when you are doing cross chain swaps and when you are doing multiple different transactions within the one trade, users do have to be protected. Now, should you choose to head up here and customize your um, slippage, please, please remember that when you are doing cross-chain swapping, you can get sandwich bot attacked. Um, by setting it low, sometimes it can take just a tiny bit longer for your trade to execute, but for an end user, it helps you retain the most value and not be susceptible to these sandwich attacks. Now, should this receiver address feature um, get in your way or, for instance, you um, have it turned off and you want to view it, that is also in this little tab here. So you can choose to have it removed there too if you like. Now, as you can see down here in the transactions details, Portal X's fee is currently free for our launch. Um, so please, guys, try it out and let us know what you think.